Is light on? Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> All right, so I'd like to, uh, yeah, we're on live. Okay, and I'll just put it on here as well. Okay, so just wanted to uh, talk a little bit about grief. And um, so grief, grief, is a, grief is a very low, um, it's a very low vibration. It's a very low vibration. And uh, it's very, very natural for humans to have grief, especially around uh, parental figures, uh, or, or especially around their death. And I knew this uh, from all the spiritual work I was doing with, with uh, uh, Dr. Hawkins, uh, that, you know, it's a low vibration. And I was concerned um, when my mother, you know, I knew my mother was in bad health for quite a long time. So I knew she would be eventually be going. So I, I did what I call a pre, pre-grieving process before the, the many years I was doing spiritual work, uh, before she died, to try and make... Uh, the, the grief process as little as possible. So, um, I mean, Hawkins talks about stacks. Like, there's a reservoir of repressed, you could say repressed uh, emotions. You know, you could, uh, you have like a, I sort of see it like a big cylinder, a big cylinder with grief in me. And this can be projected from uh, uh, the loss of attachment from not just this lifetime, but many prior lifetimes. Of, uh, of loss, and it's quite natural if you think of an animal uh, and it's got its parents and if it, uh, for the animal, as it, as it perceives it, if the parents die, that is the source of love and care. So it is a, it is a, it is a big attachment. Anyway, so for many years I would uh, sit with my emotions and I, what I often share, I, I call it filled feelings. You know, when, when emotions arise, to just um, to be with the feelings and not to label or attach any story to the energy of the vibration that is arising. And I had been doing this for many, many years, uh, uh, this kind of letting go, feel the feelings process. And um, so when my, uh, when my mother went into hospital and uh, it didn't seem that it would be that serious, but within a day after they tried to intervene with medical intervention, She'd had about 20% heart function and it declined to 15%. And then they said, oh, she's not going to make it. You know, her kidneys are also starting to fail. Her heart's gone down. Uh, so within a day from she first going into hospital, uh, well, we get this sorted out very quickly, to after 24 hours, actually, there's nothing probably we can do now. Um, so uh, that was quite a, a thing. And it did bring up a huge amount of feelings. But because I'd been doing this, letting go process of just being with the feelings um, uh, that really really helped so these extreme feelings of um, of grief a very very high intensity came up and uh, I knew to be with them and not to resist not to try and uh, go, go away from them and I had practiced for many many years this process when extreme emotions come up to go into them to go into them and not to try and escape. And I had been doing, I'd been practicing the letting go, feel the feelings process for something like 16 years. And I'd had, in that time, had um, gone through, um, uh, when I let go of my food addiction in, my, in a 12 step fellowship, I'd gone through panic attacks without using anything uh, just to ride out the, the feelings of panic uh, and just sit through them. After a transplant operation, after the general anaesthetic, I refused all painkillers and took the pain of the surgery uh, just by feeling the feelings. So I had gone through these excruciating uh, events before with not escaping from the feeling. So I just went into the grief 100% and it was, uh, it was extreme. And uh, so this extreme feeling came up, but because I've been practicing for 16 years, of when, you know, like I call it, when the shit hits the fan, when these excruciating feelings come up just to go 100% with them and to want to experience them and to let go of any sense of story. So I was with it and it was, it was, it was, it was really, really horrific. And it would come in waves of, uh, how long would it the wave? The waves would last probably about um, 15 minutes, 20 minutes. 
15 to 20 minutes and it would come up like this excruciating way like you've been ripped apart and I'd be with it you know and I'd had, I'd had experiences of going through physical pain and it was similar to physical pain except it was emotional pain but the intensity was in many ways similar uh, and uh, if you, you're allowed to speak but you'll yeah. be on camera yeah. Yeah, um, so when the grief was coming up yesterday and I was in bed and just, just processing it, yes. I kind of realised how painful grief is. It's maybe a uh, duck uses the word exquisite. It was like exquisitely painful. Yes. It was very painful. It's something about grief that is, is just, I don't know, special. I don't know, especially is not a good word, but it is quite painful. And what I was doing was asking for more of it to come up. That's right. Um, which helped me to stop resisting it and um, uh, so I'd done that and at the same time I was being aware of the anorexic as well and just letting that come up as well and it wasn't it wasn't very intense grief but it was quite painful yesterday and I think I was with it for maybe 30 to 40 minutes um, uh, something very interesting happened was when I got back to my room um, you shared originally before about listening to uh, the theme of a, of a film. Um, I got back to my room and um, there was a certain song to do with a family member. And uh, I, that, I hadn't listened to that song for years and years and years. And uh, it was to do with a certain family member and I was listening to it. And it actually felt quite good to listen to it, but a bit sad because it was closely related to a family member. Um, but yeah, I just want to share that grief is quite quite painful. Yeah. yeah, thank you, thank you for sharing that. It is, uh, it is a, it is, it is an extreme feeling. I think there is. Uh, thank you for sharing it. It was in a sense. I don't know. I, I didn't. I don't think I enjoyed my one particularly. But, uh, but. Um, Enjoy. But I, yeah, I didn't enjoy. I didn't. Yeah, I didn't. How the, the, thing, the thing, music. Oh, I'm sorry. No, I was talking about the grief, uh, oh, yeah, the mention yeah. of, it, of it being exquisite. It wasn't yeah, but exquisitely it. painful, not exquisitely yeah. in a good sense. Oh, I see. Yeah. Okay, yeah. okay, 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 yeah. 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 yeah, right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah. okay. Because I think Doc has okay. used that expression before. I, 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 exquisite some, some, yeah. Sometimes when I've been feeling things, they have been exquisite. Um, and it's, it's a good thing. Uh, maybe because my, uh, there, was a, uh, there was still some resistance. I remember once when uh, after an operation, uh, no, this was in my early days when I had to have emergency treatment for a heart attack and uh, there was this huge uh, needle because when, when you have a heart attack they, they get really big needles I mean really like a huge needle and I was going to practice like not resisting the needle going in and I was like as I was going to plunge the needle in I just did the don't resist just 100% experience it and I did do that and, it, and I went off more or less instantly into a state of bliss and I was actually losing consciousness and um, they had to like try and wake me up and give me sugary drinks because they thought I was diabetic. I wasn't. It's just I, had, I just was 100% willing to experience it and I just instantly went off into a state of losing consciousness. It was almost like going into a state of inner bliss. I'm not sure whether I would have actually left the body but it was extremely, uh, it was extremely exquisite and it was like a willingness to 100% meet. The thing I think with the um, with the grief though it was it was more like a horrific pain it was a horrific pain that came up and it was very very intense and it would last for about 15 20 minutes and then it would then it would be like it wouldn't be really be grief but it would be more like um, uh, more like just a general because uh, was in a feeling more like a general and adrenalized state but without the intense grief and then it would come back in another waves. So these waves happened for a bit, and each time I did, I uh, thank you. It, uh, you know, I'd go with the wave, because if you don't try and distract Hello? and do something else or, or distract okay. into something that takes you away from it, you're just emptying out the reservoir of this repressed grief. So I did that. I did that, and um, also I did the other technique which I learnt from Muji, which is the observer. So sometimes I would uh, just ask myself, what's witnessing this whole situation? What's the observer of this whole thing? But then the main thing was feel the feelings, or just being 100% and welcoming the waves as they, as they hit. And, uh, and taking that uh, as an opportunity. I mean, if anyone's going through grief, I really recommend when the wave hits to try not to 
take the time to be with the wave until it passes, even if you've got really important events, because it's like, it's an opportunity to release a huge amount of grief when the, the intense grief comes in. So it's like an opportunity. Otherwise, some of this grief, if you don't empty out, I knew if I didn't empty out as much grief as I could with my mother, it, you know, this, this will probably surface up again in a future event, you know, you know if, if my pet dies or whatever. I'll still have that reservoir of grief which will come up. So it's to really release as much as a, it's an opportunity. I think the death of a parent is a real opportunity to release a huge amount of this grief. And this will mean that, you know, in future I'll be so much more happy and have less this fear of the loss of the ending of a relationship if I can feel as much of this out. So within, a, within about a week or two, I think it was 10, and I was feeling quite grounded, and I have been feeling quite grounded for, a lot, uh, for quite a long time now. It's been about eight months. Just recently, uh, this week, you know, I was listening to the music from a film that I watched with my mother, Star Wars, and, uh, and some more of that grief, so bit, but it's very, very mild now. So just, when you're going through grief, just really try and welcome it, and be with those feelings, and just bring them all up. All the, all up. Thank you.